Some will stay out and hand out the candy on Halloween. Others take their little trick or treating or attend a fabulously spooky party. A lot of, a lot of ways to celebrate between now and Tuesday. So we've got Sam Slaughter here to highlight some of the haunts in his nightlife report. Welcome. Uh, thank you. People are dying to have a good time on Halloween, aren't they? How many more of these? I didn't prepare any puns this time, shockingly. Okay. Well, you also I, didn't come in costume. I've got skulls. You know what? If we can get close on that, people Those will are see lots and lots of skulls. That is an excellent uh, Halloween it's outfit. Subtle. Uh, okay, good. So subtle, yeah. we lead with that. Um, but, you know, you love to go out on Halloween to a place that, that just is festive and fun. What are mm -hmm. you looking for? Um, you can either be in costume or out. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. this weekend's people watching no matter where you go. Yeah. Um, but being able to not... Uh, not be ashamed for not being in costume because sometimes depending on what your costume is, it, small confined yeah. spaces might not work if you've got a lot of things going on. And uh, okay. if you spent a lot of time on it, you don't want to get it messed up. And okay. I sound like a crotchety old man, I realize right now. I'm um, sorry that I costume shamed you. I didn't see. Drink specials is what I should have just said to start with. Okay, that, that is succinct. So yeah. your first spot for a Halloween haunt, it's known as a burger joint with a passion for craft beer. You've got Jack Brown's on Augusta Street. Yeah. They're doing the costume contest, the bingo. Yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, so uh, Jack Brown's we've talked about before. It's got a great beer selection. They've got their beer uh, list that you can, once you get 100, you get like a jacket or I think it's a shirt actually. Um, but you can, I'm, I'm, I think, 11 beers deep on my list. I've you got a ways this, to go. You can do this, man. Yeah. You can do this. It'll take me a while, but it's, that's fine. I, I'm not a quitter. Uh, but yet, like you said, they're doing a costume contest. I believe it starts at uh, 6 or 7 or 8, maybe. And then they're doing Halloween bingo. So uh, it's going to be a party all night long on Saturday. Okay, we'll yeah. watch for that. And then there's also a Halloween bar crawl. This is yeah. a big one organizing in Greenville. You might notice this one up and down the sidewalk Friday and Saturday and includes specials all over town. Yeah, so the, the bar crawl, it's the, the company is called Crawl With Us, and they do them around the country. So if you go to their website, you can find it in basically every major city. And for Greenville, they do them uh, at different places. As you can see, Abanico, there's Charleston Sports Pub, Ink and Ivy. Um, and you get uh, vouchers for drinks at each of these places, and you just meander around. Um, there's an after party uh, from 10 to 12. Uh, that you can enjoy other drink specials at, and obviously costumes are encouraged for this yeah, one. That's that's an adventurous night out. Yeah. I like that. Lots of places to stop. And then Social Latitude on Woodruff Road throwing several parties in the Halloween spirit as well. What yeah. are they doing? So they've got they've got things going all weekend long. Uh, tonight they've got, I think it's the Taylor Swift dance party, mm -hmm. um, and then live music after that. And then on Saturday they've got more live music. I believe Away Team is playing from 9 to 12 on Saturday on um and then on Sunday, they've got more drink specials. They've got a little bit of everything all weekend long. So if you want to celebrate, you know, today or tomorrow or, you know, go hard on a Sunday, okay. if, if you want, no judgment, got but options. they've got options. All right. Well, before I put you on the spot and ask you what you're going to be for mm -hmm. Halloween, um, we there is one place you talked about, you know, no images needed here. You talk about family friendly events, parents wanting to entertain their kids. Uh, yeah. Over at Embassy Suites, they're doing something. Yeah, they're doing uh, a trunk or treat, I yeah. believe they're called. So uh, at, at the spot. Embassy Suites, you know, it's pull up, and get candy out of trunks. It's a nice, safe way to uh, get your kids out in their costume and see, you know, other kids, other costumes, and get a bunch of candy without having to, like, maybe go out on a Tuesday night. Well, what are you going to be doing? You're always doing something fun. Will you be wearing costumes places, just working? Y yes, I've got a couple of costumes this weekend. Do tell. Um, for Halloween itself, uh, my partner Shen and I are going to be Tweedledee and Tweedledum because we're going to an Alice in Wonderland themed party. Excellent. Um, and then on Sunday, I will be going full pirate. Uh, my buddy Jacob <laughs> has a boat and they have a pirate regatta, I think oh, it's called. That's amazing. And so I have been conscripted into his crew. Well, you will I've go been, full pirate and be so happy. What a, what a memorable way to celebrate. There will be beads in the hair okay. and some like, I, I'm going Jack Sparrow all the way. And then just keep the pirate thing going the rest of the week. Yeah, I don't think I can take the braids and the beads out that easily. So they're stuck there, Dan. All right. Well, I look Maybe forward to what's Friday. left of it next yeah. Friday. Uh, we appreciate you serving as brewery correspondent for us or a Halloween nightlife correspondent. Yes. Will, you, will you stick around and make us a cocktail later? I will be making a cocktail later. Okay. We will uh, look forward to seeing what something spooky. I hope. Something spooky. Okay. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Sam is the author of Are You Afraid of the Dark Rum and Other Cocktails for 90s Kids. You can visit his website or follow Sam on social media for more.